happy birthday. But you've called me over the phone to wish me happy birthday. Are you expecting someone? Yes, I am expecting someone. Why didn't you call me before coming? But I've always come to your house unannounced. Moreover, today is your birthday. But this time around, you should have called me before coming. Why are you acting this way? Oh, please. Oh, wow. A romantic dinner? But only for two. Who is the lucky guy? How many boyfriends do I have? Okay, none that I can think of. Are you having problems with your memory? Memory loss or what? No, I don't. So, you don't remember my boyfriend, Tunde, the love of my life, the one I've been dating for three years now? Hmm? Does it ring a bell? He's the one you're expecting? Yes, I am expecting him. He called me up. You know, he's been away for weeks now. So he called me up that he's back to town, right in time for my birthday. And he wants us to discuss something special. I think he's going to propose oh. last single days for your girlfriend. So what makes you think he's going to propose today? I can feel it in my bones. When you know, you know, come on. Well, before you feel it in your bones, I have something to tell you that will break your bones. And what's that supposed to mean? Relax. Benny, don't start with your... Yeah. Is someone getting married without telling her friend? Well, you need to take a look before asking too many questions. Look at the date. Tunde is married. He got married two weeks ago. Yes, I went to my cousin's house today. I was going through her phone when I saw her pictures with the couple. At first I thought maybe Tunde was the best man, but she convinced me that he was the one that got married. Then she gave me the wedding card. No, 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 this is not happening. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. What are you doing? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Can't reach him. His phone is switched off. Oh, this is not happening. This is not happening. It's not real. Oh, how could he? Three whole years. Three years. Benny, what is wrong with me? This is my third relationship that is ending in disaster. Why would Tony waste my life for three good years of whole days of my birthday? How could he? Okay. There is nothing wrong with you. You're a beautiful, smart, successful woman. If it's anyone's loss, it's Tunde's loss. If he can do this to you, he doesn't deserve you. I'm so pained. How could he waste my life for three years? So he had some other woman he wanted to marry all those well and he just fooled me all along. Three years, Benny, three whole years. How could he? Okay, it's okay. What have I done? You need to pull yourself together. Oh my Listen, God, how could you? You should be today? happy that you dodged a bullet. I never even liked him in the first place. Okay? Just believe this. Get over him already. This is happening to me. Three whole years, three years. Look at me. Look okay, at it's me. your birthday. Are we going to cut your cake or what? Oh my God. Benny, can you just leave me alone? Please. I'm here already. Let's party. Hey, welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> hey, you're so tipsy. <laughs> you're so tipsy. I'm not tipsy. Oh, you're so tired. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm so tired. Um, <sighs> uh, just wait outside for me. Okay? I was the problem. No, 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 just wait outside. Why? I'll, I'll be with you in a second. Okay. I'll be with you in a second. Okay. All right, just, just hold on. I didn't know you were still awake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm tired of you making excuses. I'm tired of you apologizing to me. Look at you. After your mother died eight years ago, I have tried my best to be a good father to you. What do I get in return? Headaches, late nights, problems. I cannot let you go. You are leaving my house first thing tomorrow morning. Okay. Don't tell me you're still like this. Listen, Sunde knows what he has done. He's in your past now. You need to put him there and move on. Face the future. I think it's that easy to forget him all of a sudden, but it's not that easy. I know. I know it's not easy. But you need to be strong and let go. You don't understand. All right, then. Make me understand. I'm 35. I'm beautiful. I'm successful, yet no man wants me. And who told you that no man wants you? Listen, we are the same age. But I know someday I'm going to get married. When? I don't know. But one thing I can assure you is that you and I are going to get married someday. I don't believe that anymore, Benny. I don't. Why will you talk like that? Look, my past relationships has ended in nothing but disasters. Look at um, um, Stanley. Stanley broke up with me over the phone. Valentine. He said I was too perfect for him. He'd rather go marry some local girl from his village. Tunde, I don't need to tell you how that one ended up. Finding out Tunde is married on my birthday is the worst thing ever to have happened to me. I don't even wish it for my own enemy. Is that why you've given up on men? Did you just say men? I've given up on men, I've given up on love, I've given up on relationship, I've given up on marriage, all of it. I am done, done, done. I'm done. <sighs> okay. So, what are you going to do now? I'm going to stay in bed all day. I don't want to see anybody. I don't want to talk to anybody. I've called my assistant to cancel all my appointments. I just want to be by myself. Really? Yeah. And you think that would solve anything? At this point, Betty, I don't care anymore. I just want to be alone, please. <laughs> tired, tired, tired of men doing what they want with me all the time. <laughs> Come okay. on, okay? Don't be like that. Everything is going to be fine. When? When? Till I grow gray hair. Come in. Good morning, sir. Good morning, and who are you? Your new secretary, sir. My new what? Your new secretary, sir. I heard you the first time. And since when did you become my secretary? 
Today, so your father employed me here. He wants me to give you these files to go through. Oh. <sighs> Drop it there. What are you still doing here? Thank you, sir. I'm done with you. Thank you, sir. Why is this? What did I do to this man now? Why is this torturing me? Come on. Come on. Good morning, Father. Can I, how are you? I'm not fine. I'm not feeling fine at all. Why don't you go to the hospital? I'm medically okay. I just found out that I have a new secretary. That's correct. What happened to Vivian? She no longer works here. Dad, why would you fire her? She was very effective and efficient. Her services are no longer required. She was mixing business with pleasure. Father, I didn't sleep with her, if that's what you're implying. I did I did not do that, okay? I kept it very professional with her. So you were not sleeping with her? Why are you concerned that I sacked her? Because she was effective and efficient. She was a good secretary. Very good on your bed and your office table. You see, as well, man. I thought you came here to discuss the documents I sent to you. Uh, yes, the documents, I've been going through them. I, uh, I think I'm going to have to make some adjustments though, but when I'm done with that, I'll inform you personally. You know, one thing I like about you, very serious and hardworking and doing everything to make this company grow. For that, I'm very proud of you. Thank you, Father. I appreciate that. But there are other things, many of them you have to change about yourself. Uh, Father, <laughs> I'm operating on an optimal level. I don't think there's much I need to change about myself. Right? My problem, GNC. Just go get married and have children. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Three days five. Yeah, Dad, we're not going to. Okay, right. Let's not talk about that now. I'm done with you. Okay, thank you. Have a great day. You too. Mom! 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 <laughs> Good morning, mom. Mm. What is good about the morning? Hmm? The last time we spoke on phone, what did I tell you? Mom, are you not happy to see me? I expected you to come with a man. So where is the man? I know you said the next time I come, I should come with my own man. But there is no man yet. And where is the man? When I was your age, I had given birth to you and your younger brother. Your brother is married with two kids. What about you? When will you marry? When? Mom, I'm disappointed in this question you just asked me. I don't care. I don't care because you ought to be married by now. Mom, how could you? Of course you know I'm going to get married at the right time. You don't even look like someone that wants to get married. If your father were to be alive, he would have disowned you. I did ask you to leave the house. You left on your own to get yourself an apartment. Mom, it was your constant nagging about marriage that made me go out of the house. That's a lie. Yes. You left simply because you want to be jumping from one man to the other. Mm -hmm. You don't have a job, but you claim to be a businesswoman. Tell me, Benita, what kind of business do you do? Mom, please, I have to go. I can't stand here and you insult me. <laughs> insult you? Pack this thing and get out of my sight now. Your brother's wife is a good daughter-in-law. I have found a daughter in her. So, pack this provision and get out of my house now. Mom, please. I bought them for you. If you don't want them, you can disappear. Leave! You. you can leave! Come and carry this thing and leave here! You can leave! Stupid girl! Stupid girl!
Hey, babe. How you doing? What? I thought you forgave me already. I can't forgive you, Kenny. You forgot my birthday. I'm so sorry. I'm deeply sorry about that. Didn't you get my text messages? I did, but that doesn't mean I should forgive you. Your father called me on my birthday. He has every right to. He's your godfather. And right? you? My enemy? <laughs> I didn't mean that, okay? That's not what I meant. I got your birthday present. What's in there? You should check for yourself. I'm still not talking to you. We're just talking right now. <laughs> what do you mean you're not talking to me? Huh? What I do? <laughs> okay, I'll make it out to you. I'll make it out to you. I promise I'll make it out to you. Yeah? Hey, What's up? Oh. What? You like Another it? mystery novel. Oh my God. These are the only kind of books you ever buy since I've known you. Can't you get something like romance for a change? Well, come on. There's nothing to be gained reading romance novels. You know, I mean, love is a, is, 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 is a fairy tale. Anyways, mystery novels are more realistic, you know? But the way you're going, I don't see marriage on your list anytime soon. I mean, why do you hate love so much? Anyways, thank you. Still don't look happy. There's something else in there. So what's in here? You know, you could have been a great lawyer. I tell you that all the time because you love questions. What's here? Just open oh. it and find out. Oh my God. You like it? I love it. <laughs> Wait, you got this for me? Hey, listen. <laughs> it's absolutely wrong of me to forget your birthday. Okay? I mean, we've been knowing each other since we were kids. We grew up together. You know, you've always been there for me. I mean, you deserve much more than this. And that's the honest truth. I love it. Okay, now I forgive you. Hmm? I love, love this. Thank you. Thank you, bestie. I'm impressed. Thank you. <laughs> I welcome. love, love, love this. You're welcome. You're welcome. Wow. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm sorry about Sunday, you know, the breakup. I got your message. I mean, I can't believe he did that. He must be an idiot. Such is life. I I don't want to do anything relationships right now. I'm just going to focus on work and take a vacation later. That's a great idea. You know, a friend of mine said he needed a, an interior decorator, so I gave him your number. Oh, he has called me already. Thank you. You're welcome. But that's not enough, though. Okay, you need to go to the kitchen and prepare poundo and um, banga soup. I, I want catfish. I need the catfish head to be as big as your head. Wait, you get me? Why are you, you looking around? Why are you talking to me? I'm talking to you. I need you to do pound, and the poundo is not the packet poundo. I need the pounding poundo. Wow. The real poundo. Okay, so you want poundo. Yes. The real with one. Banga soup with banga soup and catfish, catfish with a big head. Wow. <laughs> So, um, I understand what your mom said was harsh, but that's not enough reason for you not to see her anymore. Tamara, you needed to see the way she insulted me and chased me out of her house like a rabbit. Mm, she true. chose my sister-in-law over me. My ugly sister-in-law. Serious. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's serious. But Benny, I'm sure your mom was really upset to have done that. Your sister is not that ugly. Now. <laughs> what are you saying? Have you seen her front teeth? <laughs> She's <laughs> ugly. <laughs> but guys, my mom meant every word she said. She even called me a prostitute. I'm sure she really feel bad when you walked out. If she me. does, she would have called me to apologize. Wait, now I can actually go and talk to her on your behalf. Me too. No. I don't want to say anything to my mother. The next time she'll be seeing me in her house, it will be with a ring on my finger. I'm Seriously. going to prove her wrong. Benny, you know what, yeah? My advice would be, you wait for the right person. Do not rush because of pressure from your mom, you know? As you can see, Kyode and I, we are happily 
marriage. Ah, oh, I got the right guy. <laughs> Samara. <laughs> what makes you think Kayode is the right man for you? Of course I know he's the right man for me. Kayode and I, we genuinely love each other. I trust him. He would never cheat on me. <laughs> <laughs> Tamara, most men of God cheat on their wives. Not to talk of your husband. Benita. Look, Benita or whatever you call yourself. I'm not going to sit down here and watch you insult my man. The fact that you cannot get a man to wife you does not give you the right to insult my husband in front of me or behind me. I'm not going to take that from you. Well, I never Tamar, insulted your you husband. Don't, you don't need to leave because of Benny oh, now. Please. Come on, please. I was only telling you the truth. Say hi to Kayode for me. I only told her the truth. Why did you have to? You can see she's pregnant. She doesn't need to hear such. Oh, so what kind of advice does she need? Okay, you want her to start suspecting her husband is, is cheating on her. I know how she can be. She takes everything. So. Oh, please. Yes. Ekene! Ekene, so this is really true! Ekene, you're sleeping with my sister! Ekene, you're sleeping with Ifoma! Ekene, I thought you said you loved me. Gina! How dare you? Is that why you are barking like a dog? I'm barking like a dog? Ekene told me you're not his girlfriend anymore. Oh, really? And you're sleeping with my boyfriend? You're sleeping with my boyfriend and you have your audacity to open your smelling gutter mouth to talk to me. I don't even care if you're my sister. I don't care. And I will do you something. You cannot do me anything. I cannot do you anything. Yeah. And I will prove to you that I can do you something. You're sleeping with my boyfriend. Stop it! Kenny, you know, you, you know you're a very funny guy. Instead of you to separate and fight, you're running away. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Why were you running? <laughs> well, you want me to stand there and explain to two women how I want to live my life? It's none of my business. Well, you're, you're really a bad boy. How? How can you date two sisters? I mean, they were not friends. They were blood sisters. Don't blame me. They gave me willingly. Oh. What was I supposed to do? Oh, come on, bro. You would have just dated one and make friends with one. You know, that's and disappoint the other one. I couldn't do that. Now okay? you made enemies. Yeah, I didn't make enemies. They made themselves enemies, okay? I didn't ask them to fight each other. I never told them I was looking for a serious relationship. So that's none of my business, man. It's not my fault. That's what you can say. But anyways, let's get serious now. Don't you think it's time for you to get married? I mean, you're not getting younger. Mm -hmm. You know, you... Oh, look around. All your friends are married. Even me, I'm married as well. Do you know what? what? Stop sounding like my father, okay? If you want to give advice, you can go home and talk to your wife. This is not a place for it, okay? I knew that was what you were going to say. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm expecting a child. I'm going to be a father soon. Congratulations to you. It's, it's a, uh, yeah. Thank Congratulations. You. If I want a child, I'll arrange with a beautiful woman and get her pregnant. What kind of arrangement is that? The best kind of arrangement, you know? No feelings attached. All I have to do is spend my money. <laughs> look, bro. Money is not everything. Aha. Uh -huh. I mean, come to think of it, what are you doing with Oge? Well, Oge is, is, I mean, she would make a good wife, you know? Oge, okay, which Oge? The Oge I know, or you know an Oge that I don't know? How many Oges do I know? The, your childhood friend. Okay, you have to stop. Okay, don't even say that again. I don't want her to hear that, okay? Because we don't have feelings for each other. I mean, when I see Oge, I, I see a bro. You know, she's my bro. How can you say that? I'm telling you, I don't see. Uh, come on, don't even. Oh. <laughs> Look, you don't know what you have until you lose it. Oge is going to make a good one. Okay, let's. And you're stop. missing out. Stop. Trust me. I'm not missing out on nothing. Let's change the topic. Okay, let's change the topic. You should change the topic. Yes. All right. If you so, say so wait, hold on. What's up with the girl now? Right? What's up? Are you still calling them? Call them now. What's up? Oh, you still want me to call the girls after everything that happened in your hotel room? Bro, that was in the past. That was like so. That was in the past. This is the present. I'm preparing for the future. Okay, your guy needs to recharge his batteries, man. I'm low right now, bro. Call them. Call them. Can I? I'm serious. Call them. <laughs> you don't see to amaze me. Can I? <laughs> you need to change. Seriously, you need to change. I need to change girls. That's why I'm saying call the new girls, okay? That's the only thing I need to. Where exactly are you coming from? 
by this time of the day. Babe, this is very unlike you. You don't ask where I go or coming from. Answer me! Where are you coming from? Oh, come on, baby. You don't need to shout. All right? You don't have to shout. I mean, considering your condition, I don't want anything to happen to my baby. Come here. It's all right. I went to hang out with the boys. I was hanging out with Kenny. Which Kenny? Oh, come on, baby. You know Kenny now. Kenny Maduka. I thought you stopped hanging out with him since we got married. <sighs> Babe, you, you just never cared to ask. That's because I trust you. And I want you to stop being friends with him. <sighs> Why? Kenny is a playboy. And I don't want him to influence you with his rotten lifestyle. Trust me, any girl that gets married to Kenny would have her pillow soaked in tears. Oh, come on, baby. Come, come here. Come here, baby. Just come here. I want to talk to you. Babe, I'm a grown man. Kenny cannot influence me. I wouldn't want to do anything to hurt you. All right? Baby, but I mean, you don't blame me. You and I know that this guy is a bad influence. And he might convince you to cheat on me. Oh, come on, baby. You worry too much. Look at you. I wouldn't want to cheat on you, baby. I love you very much. And that is what matters to me. I love you like my life depends on it. Come on, baby. Stop. All right? Come here. Come here. I love you too. You love me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go inside, all right? So I can take care of you. You don't eat anything. No, no, I'm fine. I, I had something to eat earlier when I hanged out with the boys. Look at you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be like this. Why are you here? Ah. Uh... I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. It was wrong of me to say what I said about women. You know? I'm sorry. I feel ashamed and it was meaningless what I said. You should be ashamed of yourself, Kenny. Yeah, listen, okay. Okay, what happened today won't happen again. I promise you it won't happen again. Women are not toys, don't you get that? I know, I know. Women are strong and independent and remarkable and awesome. I know one, I know you, so. Okay, before I let you in, you have to promise me that you learn to respect women. I respect women, a hundred percent. You know, I respect you, which is why I'm here. Even though you poured water on me, but I guess I deserve it. Apology accepted. Can come in. Okay. Thank you. Even though you poured water on me, it's cool. You can afford another research, can I please? <laughs> my phone. Coyote, you're cheating on me. Cheating on you? Why would you say a thing like that? I dialed the carpenter's number and a female answered. Well, maybe the phone was with the carpenter's wife. Give me my phone. Hand it over. What I heard was hello there. Are you trying to say that the carpenter's wife will, will address her husband's customers as hello there? Maybe it's a call divert. It wasn't a call divert. You sent her number as Carpenter so that I will not suspect you. You are cheating on me. Come on, baby. I'm, I'm, I'm not cheating. Give me the phone. Hand it over. I am not cheating on you. Okay, then let's call the number again. Call the number! <sighs> babe, listen to me. Have I been a bad husband to you? Huh? No, talk to me. What have I done to deserve this? 
that you, you suddenly don't trust me anymore. Look at me. I'll never hurt you. I love you very much. It's okay. I've just been thinking a lot lately. I guess it's the hormones. Oh. I'm mm. sorry. It's all right. You don't have to be sorry. Come here. Come here. It's okay. I understand. Everything is going to be fine. Right? <laughs> Hi. Hey, Lisa. Yeah. What are you doing here? Can't I come check on you? Uh, yeah, no, sure. Of course you can. Uh, where's, where's Oge? Must I come with her? Anyway, I was around the neighborhood and decided to come and see you. No, well, that's very nice of you, you know. Uh, but unfortunately, I actually have uh, lunch right now, so I have to be heading out. Oh, that's fine. I'll come with you. I'll just drive behind you. Uh, it's a business lunch. You know, with like clients, so it's kind of official. Really? Yes, yes, yes. But we can do this some other time, you know, I'll call you. Yeah? Are you sure? Yeah, sure, of course. You have my number, but you never call me. And when I do call, you hardly take my calls. Don't worry about that. Okay, I'll call you, I promise. Okay? All right, I'll be expecting it. Sure, of course. All right. All right, take care. Yeah. is cheating on me. So because he saved the lady's phone number with Carpenter, look, that doesn't give you enough proof to think he's cheating, okay? Yes, I know, but that's why I pretended I believe him. I'll probably check his phone again. I'll take him on our words, maybe when he's sleeping or something. Uh -uh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Bad idea. That will make matters even worse. You're saying this because you think he's cheating on me, right? I didn't say anything and I'm not thinking anything, okay? I don't live in the house with both of you. Besides, you've not thought about or suspected him. It's because of what Benita said. Tama, just let it go, okay? If you were to be in my shoes, will you let it go? I don't know, but one thing I know for sure is that Coyote loves you. He takes good care of you. I don't want anything to come in, in between both of you. Then again, remember you're pregnant. So make sure you think it through before you take any decision or do anything. Think about it. Huh? Okay. Please, let's go. Kenna is waiting for me. <clears throat> After you. All right. I thought you said there was a disaster. This is a disaster, I'm telling you. So when has cooking become a disaster for me? Just check it out. Oh my God, what? Are you cooking for the entire country? What is this? No, oh, I just wanted to make enough. So if I was hungry later, I'll, I'll have some more. Can I have asked you to hire a chef for you? Listen, what? who cooks yam like this? Who? I mean, what do I need a chef for? You know, I have you. Oh my God. Okay. Do you, want to, do you want to taste it? I can still see the back of the arm. You're supposed to take it off before you... Let me, let me see what you're doing. Uh, which one? Which one do you want? Give me this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Kenne, you peel the back before you... No, I was doing it, but it was taking too long. So you had to... Are you trying to poison yourself? Why is it so bitter? Are you asking me? I have no idea. I mean, I noticed it was bitter though. I was going to put some sugar, like sprinkle some sugar on it, but I said I should wait till you got here. Sugar? Yeah. Oh. Is that a bad idea? No. It's a terrible idea. Oh, oh my God. Can I, what, what, what is this now? What, 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 what? Just go, 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 go. Let me see what I can do. Thank you. Oh my God. Can I try to poison you? You're a lifesaver. Thank you. I'm just oh going to go shower. Help me just make that. Can you just go, okay. please? Okay. Thank you so much. Do you need this? I don't. Can I just go? Sorry, 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 sorry. Let me do a shower. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh. 
готовым. Called her a prostitute. Mua, prostitute. I never mentioned any word like prostitute. Bianwan, you have been friends with Benita for some time now. Please tell me, what does Benita do for a living? She says she does business. Business. Have you seen the kind of business she does? Not, not really. Hey. I knew it. I knew it. Benita depends on men. Men are unpredictable. They can disappoint her at any time. Eh? My dear, I like you. I am happy that you are independent woman. You have a job. But I don't, I, don't, I don't know why Benita have refused to change. I don't know why. Mama, she will change. She will change. Just give her time. And be, be time. with her. She will change. Time waits for no one. Time. I don't, I, I, I don't understand why this girl is behaving like this. I don't know. Please, my dear. I want you to do something for me. I want you to advise her on my behalf. I am her mother and I know what is right for her. Please, my dear, I want you to help me and advise her. Pick one. Mama, I actually do advise her. But you know, Benita, she doesn't listen to anybody. She does what she wants to do. I promise I'll keep on advising her. In fact, when next I see her, I'll bring this up. Oh, no. Thank you so much, eh? Please do. Yeah. Oh, look at me. I didn't even remember to ask you what you will eat. No, what can I prepare for you? No, I'm okay. Yes. What How can you say? come to my house and say you will not eat anything? Because relax, let me go and get something for you. Well, I don't want to. <laughs> Mama, are you okay? Are you sure you don't know your doctor? Take, take. Sorry, sorry. I need to be on my way. So soon? Yeah, I can have been here since afternoon. Yeah, but it's 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 eight forty, right? I thought you were going to sleep over. Ah, nah, I didn't plan to. Besides, I don't have anything to change into. Uh, but some of your clothes are still here. I want to go. I don't stay. Are you expecting anyone? Uh, no, 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 no. Who's that? It's me, Vivian. Who's Vivian? Why are you asking me that? I don't know. Maybe you know who. Oh, come on, stop with the pretense, Vivian. Your ex secretary, the one you were sleeping with. How did you know that? Because I know things. Hi. Hi, please. Okay. Good evening, Vivian. What are you doing here? I didn't invite you. Well, you never called me ever since I lost my job. How's that my business? We didn't sign any contract that said I had to call you if you lost your job. Kenne. Well, I lost my job because of you. You did not lose your job because of me. I need another job. I don't care. Just I leave my broke. house. Kenne. What? Don't talk to a woman like that. Auntie, please, if you want to go, you can go too. Are you asking me out of your house? I'm not kicking you out, but you said you wanted to leave. I'm just giving you permission to do what you want to do. So if you want to leave, the door is open. I don't blame you. Blame you. See what you calls. Huh? Get out of my house. Leave. Leave, she might drop you off. You can't believe you can do this to me. You're heartless. Thank you for the compliments. Don't come back here, by the way.
You need to see the way Kenneth treated his former secretary. <laughs> it was so disgusting. I couldn't stand it. Was it that bad? Very bad. Like real, real bad. I pity anyone that will end up with that boy as a wife. Oh. <laughs> Very bad. Well, I'm available for him. Hmm? Available for who? Kenny, of course. God forbid. Benny, if that's a prayer point, in fact, I reject it on your behalf. God will not answer. Okay. Kenny. <laughs> ha, God forbid, though. I'm serious. Look, I have your best interest at heart. Okay? If Kenneth wanted you, he would have told me like long, long time ago. Or come behind and chase you because I know what he can do. Okay then. Give me chief. Listen, okay. I want to live a baby girl life. I want to get married to a wealthy man and go on vacations. I don't want to suffer. Please, um, which chief are we talking about here? Kenneth's father, of course. <laughs> okay, it's not funny. It's not. It's very funny. Benny, chief that is old enough to be your father. Why are you so desperate for, for a wealthy man? Listen, Oge, okay. age is nothing but a number. But that's when love is involved. This time, you're after him just for the money. Okay, what if this money finishes? The money is not going to finish, and you know that. How do I know that? I don't see the future. Look, Benny, you know you can actually live this baby girl lifestyle you want if you work hard. Oge, okay, please. I'm serious. Push that aside. It's the truth, Benny. Look, as a young girl, when you work hard, you spend this money. It's so sweet when you spend your own hard-earned money, okay? You don't need any man to do that. Okay, have you thought of what will happen when you get old? We are saying the same thing. That's why I need to marry a wealthy husband. Because of the future. Listen, Oge, if you can't give me the son, just give me the father. It's that simple. Look, just... Keep me out of this, okay? I'm not part of this. We should be talking about how to mend ways with your mom. How your mom wants to, to be a better person. Not this old man talk. Please. I knew it. I knew that was why you invited me here. Listen, I don't want to talk about anything involving my mother. Ben, you know this is not about your mother. It's about you. Oga, I know exactly what you want to say, okay? So end of discussion. Just go ahead and enjoy your wine and let me think about my life. How I want to get married to a very wealthy man and live the baby girl life that I want. Okay? I'm not going to suffer. I will marry. In fact, I must marry a wealthy man. You see. You know, you can actually come work with me and make some like good money. You know that, right? But that's only if you're reliable. Hello, Oge. Okay. Can I have my keys, my spare keys, please? Um, here. I heard you came around to the company today to see my dad, but you didn't stop over at my office. Why should I stop over at your office? Listen, if it's about what happened the other day, I'm sorry. Okay, I've been calling you, but you haven't been picking my calls. That's because I don't want to talk to you. You're so annoying. I know I'm annoying. You don't okay. know. Uh, I can't remember asking you to sit or even letting you in in the first place. Okay, we need to talk, okay? Talk about what exactly, Kenny? What exactly do you want to talk to me about, Kenny? Tell me how you embarrassed me in front of Vivian or how you... We're talking to her so rudely right in front of me. Which one? Huh? Look, even if you slept with her, she still deserves some respect from you. She's a woman. About that, I managed to get her a job at my friend's firm today. Okay. I don't so believe you. If you don't believe me, I could give you her number so you confirm. But please, okay. Just, please, just sit down. Okay, I need to talk to you about something very important. What is it? Okay, um, <clears throat> you know, I used to believe in love because of how my parents loved each other. 
But um <sighs> shouldn't be saying this, but I got my heart broken when I went to Canada for my master's. <laughs> Wait, he had a heart broken. Yep. How possible is that? Well, um, I met someone. I met someone. Yeah, I remember you mentioned it, but you told me the relationship didn't work out. Yeah, I didn't want to tell you that I got my heart broken, you know. I mean, I was going to bring her back home, introduce us to everybody. So, um, one day I uh, randomly went to her place and I went there to propose. I saw her sleeping with a friend of mine. What? Yeah. That was the day I realized that love is just a four letter word. It's just a word, you know? She didn't even care. My presence didn't affect her. She didn't move. I felt so weak and worthless. I'm so sorry, Kay. I'm sorry she had to put you through this. I'm really sorry. I had no idea this was the reason you don't believe in love. I hope you've forgiven her and moved past <laughs> it. Yeah, I forgave her, but she didn't ask me to, you know? Hope she's forgiven herself wherever she is. <sighs> it was really difficult for me. I mean, it took a long time for me to get over that. I could barely eat, I could barely sleep. But the fact that I have a family and a best friend that loves me unconditionally, you know, I was able to pull through. Because I couldn't wait to come back and see my family and my best friend. That's the honest truth. I'm so, so sorry. I'm really sorry. Even though you no longer believe in love, you know someday you need to get married. Your father wants you to. He wants grandkids. Yeah. So you should be thinking about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely thinking about it, you know? And I'm thinking, it's just to meet a beautiful lady and negotiate with her to have a kid with me, you know? Thinking of doing it like next year, I think it's a good idea. It's a solution. Okay. That, that's fine by me. Whatever you want, I got your back, you know? You see, that's always. why I cherish you so much, you know? We think alike. No, 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 Kenny. I don't think like you at all. You huh? see this thing you just said now? Yeah. It made no sense. But you're in full support of something that makes no sense. Like I have a choice. I don't. <laughs> Do I? What's burning? Can you smell that? Mm, my food! Oh, you're cooking. I'm not eating from that pot, so I have to prepare another one. Preferably with a different pot. I need you here. Welcome, sir. Thank you. I just uh, got back from a very successful meeting. So hand it over to my dad. I'll explain when I get back because I, uh, I have another appointment in about 20 minutes. So I have to head out. Sir, uh, uh, your father um, was rushed to the hospital. What? Why? When? This morning after we left. Told me. What? Where is he right now? I don't know, Mr. Charles drove him there. Charles? Yes. Okay. Okay, I'll give him a call on my way. Alright. Okay. Good afternoon. Dad. I spoke with Mr. Charles and he told me that you've returned home from the hospital. That's true. Oh, you were not in the office. No, um, I had a meeting with Mr. Leonard um, about the contract, uh, which we got uh, because of our past records with him, you know? Uh, so we start construction immediately after you signed the documents and we received full payment. Mm -hmm. Is this for the same amount we discussed last week? Yes. Yes. Uh, Yes, it's for the same amount. That's good news. What are the documents? Um, I left them in the office, you know, I was in such a hurry to come see you. 
I feel better now. Doctor said I should uh, get some good rest. Did the doctor tell you what the issue was? Yes. Says my blood pressure is quite high. Wow, that's serious. That's that's very serious. Dad, you need to get enough rest, you know? Less stress and more rest. Yes, I will. Also, I'm thinking of uh, stepping down as the chief executive of the company. It's time someone competent runs it. Wow. I did not see that coming at all. Are you you're sure about this? Yes. Lately I've been thinking. Yes. And I think it's time. Mm. So when are you going to make the announcement there? Hmm. Next week? Next week, okay. <laughs> Father, it's always been a dream of mine. You know, I've been looking forward to this day from the first day I walked into that company. You know, I it would be an absolute honor to step into your shoes in the company. You know, I'll, I'll hold up the family name. I'll do my best. You know, you, you can trust me. I didn't say I was handing the company over to you. Charles is the right contender for that office. Father, how could you give the company to a, a stranger? I'm here, I'm your son, I'm your blood. I know you're my son. The company is yours, but certainly not now. The company is mine when? When will it be mine, Father? I don't know. People will talk. You know people will talk because I'm the heir. I'm, I'm your blood. Mm. They will talk. Why would you, you know, it doesn't look good on me. People will talk about this, Father. Let them talk. Charles has been with me before you came in to work for me. He's no longer a stranger to me. He has paid his dues and deserves the position. What about me, Father? I've, I've come up with great ideas and I've secured contracts that are super beneficial to this company. I've done a lot for this company, Father. I'm not disputing the fact that you're a very responsible son. High Towers Construction Company at this moment requires someone responsible and competent. Charles is not only responsible, but is a family man. Oh. Father, please don't use my marital status to punish me. I am not punishing you. What is mine is yours. You will soon take over total control of the company. Oh, Father, when it's time for that, it might cause a rift between Charles and I, you know? I mean, the only difference between Charles and I is that I, I haven't set the dates for my wedding yet. What wedding are you talking about? My wedding, Father. I'm, I'm, I've, uh, I'm engaged. I'm getting married. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm, I'm serious, Father. I'm, I'm, I'm engaged. <laughs> I'm not. It's... If you think lying to me oh. will make me change my mind, then you're wrong. If you think, think you can organize one of your numerous girlfriends pretend to be engaged just for me to hand over my heart and company to you, can I, you're in the wrong business. You will only take over that company if you bring a girl I am convinced you truly love. Father, I'm, I'm not lying. I wouldn't, I wouldn't lie to you about this, you know? I'm, I'm a very honest person, you know? I mean, I don't have numerous girlfriends. That's the old me. I've changed, you know? Oge. Oge and I are, are getting married. She's the one. Oge Arinze. Yes. My goddaughter. Yes, father. 
Yes. Are you serious? I'm so serious, Father. I'm very serious. I'm, it's okay. Um, I guess in my review, we're engaged. Was that why you came home late the other day? I mean, I knew it was her birthday. Her birthday? Yes. You know? Uh, <clears throat> yes, I, we spent her birthday together, you know, spending quality time together. Uh, actually, that was, um, that was the day I proposed to her, you know? I was trying to make it special. You know? Why didn't you tell me? Huh? Why didn't you tell me? Oh, tell you? Oh, okay. Yeah, we we're going to tell you next week. Uh, we're going to make it a surprise. You know, want it, want it to be a pleasant, a pleasant surprise. We're going to tell you next week. <laughs> this is good news. Okay, we make a wonderful wife and a good daughter-in-law. Yes, yes, I, I agree. For the first time, you've made a very wonderful decision to be a responsible man. Both of you should see me before the end of the week. Mm. We need to talk and start planning. Mm. Yes, Father, we'll do that. We'll, we'll definitely, we'll definitely do that. Good? Yeah. Okay, I'll call her when I get to my room. Mm. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you can call her. Call her. It's just that, um, you know, she's in a meeting. Business, business meeting. I spoke to her before I got here. You know, I was so emotional and I needed someone to talk to for emotional support when I heard what happened to you. You went to the hospital. So I spoke to her. You know, she's in a business meeting right now. So you can talk to her later, you know? No problem. Yeah. Get married. And the company will be yours. I'll talk to my lawyers. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much, Father. Join me. The Apple? Okay. Thank you. We're going to tell you, you know, we just wanted to make it a surprise. I was looking forward to your face when we told you. <laughs> How many times have I told you to call Atamara and Paul apologize? You just don't listen. I never offended her. I only told her the truth. She should be happy. Come on, you know you've made her start having doubts that Kayode is not cheating on her. How does that affect me? You should have kept your big mouth shut. Considering her condition, she's pregnant for crying out loud. She doesn't need to go through any form of stress. Okay. I'm sorry. The sorry is not meant for me, it's meant for Tamara. So call her and apologize. All right, I will. I'll call her when I get home. Better. And when you do, you let me know, okay? I want to know what she says. Okay. Kenneth's calling me. Hey, bestie. You're in my house? Ah. Hope all is well. Okay, I'll see, I'll see you shortly. Just give me a few minutes. All right, see you soon. Wow. Gotta go. Who's there? It's Kenne. Said it's urgent. He wants to see him. He's in my house. I hope all is well. I hope so too. He didn't say. He didn't tell you why he was calling? No, he didn't. Not yet. Well, maybe he wants to tell you that he's in love with me. <laughs> Benny, it's impossible for Kenne to love. It doesn't matter. I've always wanted to be his girlfriend, but you, you have denied me that opportunity. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's not true. I'm only trying to save you from a broken heart. Can I know we just hit and run? And I don't want that for you, darling. What if I want him to hit me from the back and run? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. I'm out of it. That's between you and Kenne. Okay? Okay. I don't want to get involved. Tell Kenne that he owes me. Oh, you what exactly? I thought you said you don't want to get involved. Okay, I'm still not involved. <laughs> and make sure you call Tamara, okay? Oh, all right, I will. And let me know. I will. You Take drive care. carefully, okay? You said what? We have to get married, okay? You and I. We have to get married. 
shouldn't have mentioned my name. I didn't have any other Why me? Why? I did not have any other option, okay? Believe me, I didn't. You had an option to leave me out of this. No, you were my only choice, okay? And he believed me. He's expecting us to come talk about our wedding arrangements and stuff, okay? Please do this for me, please. I can't believe you had to lie. You didn't have to. I, Look, the company belongs to you no matter who runs it. No, no. I, I don't, listen, I don't trust people, okay? I don't trust Mr. Charles who handled the business of that company on behalf of my father. I need to protect my father's legacy, okay? I need to. This means a lot to me. It's not just... Oh my God. Look, I know how you love your company. I know how you love your father's company so much. I know that. But it doesn't matter who runs it anyway. You'll still be part of it. Are you going to help me? Please, okay? You're the only one that's capable. And you're the only one that I can trust to do this for me, okay? I need to show my father that I'm responsible. But you're not responsible. You're only pretending to be. You don't have to insult me, okay? Don't judge me. Please, just do this. Can I, you're getting married for the wrong reasons. You're not getting married because you want to get married. No, we'll just get married and there'll be no feelings attached to it. Okay, we'll get married and we'll get divorced. I'm ready to give you 10 million naira for this. Please, please. Yes, like we we get married, right? He gives me the CEO job. We get divorced and, 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 and that's it. You know, you get 10 million naira. That's it. Come on, please, just... Wait, 10 million naira? 10 million. For real, can For I? For real, okay? You get 10 million naira. We get, the, we get married, gives me the job, we get divorced, 10 million. Just like that, okay? Come on. Will you do it? You'll do it, right? You'll do it for me. You do it. Okay, wait. Okay. This means I have to move in with you after the wedding? Is that a yes? That's a yes. You just said, is that, could you clarify, please? Is that a yes? That's a yes, right? You're going to do it for me? With me? Let's, come on, please, just say something. You're killing me here, okay? Uh, or is that a yes? It's a yes. I don't know. Yes. Yes? Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, you won't regret this. Hold on. I promise. Hold on, Kenny. Okay, okay. Just so you know. Yes. I am doing this only because of friendship. Yes, so. yes, I, you're my best friend. I love our friendship, okay? And listen, this marriage will stop anything. It won't stop anything, okay? We, we, we can still live our lives. You can be your baby girl for life thing, you know, go on vacations, date whoever you want to date, but you kind of have to keep it on low, you know, so my father doesn't get suspicious. Babe, what are you watching? There you uh, go. Thank you, baby. <sighs> and how's my baby boy doing tonight? Baby, I already told you it's not a boy. It's a baby girl. <sighs> baby, I've told you a countless number of times. Go for him, not trust can, so that you can know the gender of this child. That's because I want you to be a surprise. Uh -huh. Talk about surprises. Mm -hmm. Kenny is getting married. Which Kenny? Kenny Maduka. The only Kenny I know. Which Kenny do you know? Praise <laughs> the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. So who is this unlucky girl? Hmm. You haven't heard? Okay, your best friend, of course. Which okay? Same best friend you have. Okay. I cast, I bind, I rebuke in the name of Jesus. Even if it were to be in the dream that we're getting married. Okay, we'll have to wake up from such nightmare. But babe, come on. Stop shouting. Don't tell me not to shout. I have to express myself. Ugh. It's okay crazy. She's of not. all the people in the world, it's Kenna that she wants to marry. Uh, it's Kenna not a human being. <laughs> uh, okay, this is what happened. News on the street is that. Uh, Chief Maduka wants to hand over the company. He's retiring. You know, the old demand is old. So he wants to hand over the company to Kenne. But then before he can do that, Kenne has to be married. And you know Kenne. Kenne of all people. No girlfriend, no fiancé. Nobody. So, I mean, he had to call Oge and tell Oge the situation. Oge now decided to now do like a fake marriage. He even wants to pay her. Baby, I don't believe this thing you're telling me. 
I don't, I don't know. I don't believe you at all. Like, okay, why of all the girls in the world, why Oge? You know what? I'm going to call Oge right away to hear from the horse's mouth. So you don't believe what I said? Maybe I, I don't believe. No, wait, hold on, hold on. You don't believe what I said? You okay? How do you think your father is going to feel if he finds out we're lying? He's not going to find out that we're lying, okay? Come on, unless you're going to tell him yourself. Is that why, what you're planning? Why, why would I? Exactly. He believes us. That's all that matters. Okay? Look, I'm, I'm having a bad feeling about this arrangement. Oh, oh, don't tell me you're getting cold feet already. No, I'm worried. Don't be worried. There's nothing to worry about, okay? Just follow my lead, okay? Just play along with me. It's all going to work out. <sighs> I promise you, okay? Just okay. breathe. Okay. Breathe. Don't touch me. We're married. We're getting married. I'm married. Oh, we're getting married. I can touch you. Stop touching. Okay, just calm down. Who do we have here? <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, okay. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Okay. See, <laughs> uh, how is your health, sir? I'm better now. <laughs> yeah, have a seat. Thank you, sir. Oh. <sighs> uh, what would you like to drink? I'm okay for now, sir. Thank you. If you need anything, ask. This is your home. <laughs> I know, sir. I'm very happy for you and my son. I didn't know. <laughs> you know, um, for how long have you dated each other? Four months, father. Four. Yes, yes, four months. Four beautiful months. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's too short uh, because both of you have known each other for a very long time. So I believe you know what you want. Yes, oh. sir. And he tells me also that you prefer a very quiet ceremony. Yes. Yes, yes. We, we want something very simple and private. I respect your decision. <laughs> it wouldn't, needn't be too loud. Yeah. What matters is that you love each other. And you're willing to stay <laughs> married and happy forever. <laughs> that's that's correct. Very true. My only regret is that uh, my wife is not here to celebrate with you. She always wanted both of you to end up together. I can tell you that. But I know your parents must be happy at the woman you've turned out to be. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Uh, congratulations to both of you. Thank you, Father. Um, once again, I'm happy for you. Get some drinks. This goes for some celebration. Yes, <laughs> it does. It does. Okay. <laughs> I've decided not to snoop anymore. I don't want anything to happen to my baby or my marriage. Yeah. I can imagine how difficult that decision was for you to take. Yeah, it was really difficult, you know. You know, I love my husband and I wouldn't want anything to affect my child, you know. Being from a broken home really affected me. Yeah, that was the first thing you told me when we first met. If he's really cheating on me, that means he's trying so hard not to let me know. I think so. Maybe. If it were you, what would you do? Um, I don't know. I've never been married before. But my experiences from my last relationship actually made me realize I wasn't truly in love with this man. See what it did to me, but I'm still standing and strong. Which really brings me to the question. Why do you really want to marry Kenne? Um, okay. Apart from the money involved, Kenne and I have been friends for a very long time now. Growing up, we've been really, really good friends. I lost my mom when I was 17 and Kenne has always been there for me till today. He was always by my side, made sure I was happy. He never left my side. He made me laugh with his not so funny jokes. And 
his mom, before she passed on, became my mom. So we've, we've, we've come a very long way, like a long way. <laughs> okay. I wish you all the best then. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> what are we celebrating? Is that? What are we celebrating? Oh, we're celebrating freedom. Okay, freedom, we're married and we can do whatever we want. Okay. Yes. We can drink to that. Yep, we can definitely drink to that. Yeah. Freedom. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Oh, are you scared? <laughs> Yeah. All right. So this is for you. Let me know when to start. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. you. All right. Let's make a toast <sighs> to freedom. To freedom. So has your father mentioned when he's going to hand the company over to you? Um, yeah, about that. He said when we come back from our honeymoon. But there's no honeymoon. I know, but I didn't say anything to him. I guess on Monday, I'll go into his office and tell him we pushed it to next month. Okay. I think that's a good idea. When he hands it over, we can go on a vacation, mm. take beautiful pictures and show to your dad. That way he'll believe we're married for love. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. You know, I'll think about it. I know. <sighs> okay. Mm -hmm. From the bottom of my heart, right? I want to tell you this. Thank you. Thank you so much for being there for me all the time. If you need anything, anything at all, just ask me. You know I would always ask for something, Kenny. Anyways, <laughs> you're welcome. I mean, what are best friends for, even though to inconvenience each other? What a husband <laughs> are not best friends anymore. We're my married. bad, my bad. Hey. Welcome back. Guess what? I spoke to my dad and he agreed to step down at the end of the month. So wow. I'll be the new CEO. Congratulations. Come on. You deserve it, Kenna. You've worked so hard. Your commitment, your dedication. You deserve the position. I definitely deserve it. Okay, that's the least of what I deserve, you know? I was thinking once he makes me the CEO, there's no need to go on vacation anymore so we can get divorced like a week later. I pay you your money, we're done. But don't you think it's too early to get a divorce? Your father will be disappointed in both of us, especially me. And I don't want that. Yeah, I hate to say this, but you're right. You're right. Of course, I am always right. That's why you have me. <laughs> yes, definitely we'll get a divorce as long as it doesn't hurt your father. Whatever you want is fine. All right, cool, cool, cool. I think the best thing to do is to wait till I get the position. Then Better. we decide on what to do. Better. That's more like kids. All right. I need to shower, eat, because I have a date with a girl in a hotel. Mm. She's very beautiful, too. Wow. Yeah. So why didn't you ask her to come over here? You'll be cool with that. Of course. Why not? It's your house. You can do anything, whatever you want. You're the best wife ever. <laughs> ever. Thank you so much. You're always welcome. <laughs> Anyways, I'll be in my room. All right. Have fun when you go out. Uh, well, I'm not going out anymore. She's coming here. <laughs> All right, I need to shower. Mm. Oh, wow. Marriage really looks good on you. Thank you. You can <laughs> say that again. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, so how awesome. are you doing? How is our little baby kicking? <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, I'm doing okay, you, you really know. Look good. <laughs> Thank you. So, how was work today? 
work was fine. Good, good. Um, when last did you see Benita? On my wedding day. Yeah, Ooh. I have not seen her since then. That was about three weeks ago. Wow. I even thought you were going to come with her. I actually called her while I was at the office. And she's like, oh, she's busy. She's not chance. She's going on a date. She said she's seeing some mysterious special person. <sighs> Gosh, who's this unfortunate man? Ah, uh, uh, Tamara. Don't Tamara me. What? Oh, no. <laughs> I just pray this one leads her to the altar because she seems so desperate lately. Oh, please. That's her business. I don't care. So, what about you? Do you intend to divorce Kenneth Frost before you start a real relationship? Tamara, I told you I was done with love, marriage, relationships, anything that has to do with love. I'm done. Mm -hmm. But if I meet a guy, a sensible, responsible guy that catches my fancy, maybe I might give him a chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just a bit worried because... I was kind of uncomfortable you and Kenny being in that house alone. Why? That's because I don't want you to fall in love with him. He's going to break your heart. Come on, Tamara. I can't fall in love with Kenny. Far from that. Never. God. Never say never. It's not possible. Really, though. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm, oh, well, you know, when it comes to matters of the heart, mm -hmm. you know, one cannot control it. I can control mine. All right, I'm not going to argue with you anymore. Better don't. <laughs> um, okay. Um, I want to ask you for something. I don't know if you're going to say yes. You've not asked. So, um, I finally went for my scan. Really? Yeah. Wow. And I'll be having a baby girl. Yay, congratulations. <laughs> Little Tamara on the way. <laughs> I can't wait to meet her. Wow. <laughs> nice. Congrats. So what do you want to ask me? Um, would you love to be her godmother? Really? Of course I would love to be her godmother. Yes, I will. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks <good>. for considering <laughs> me a befitting godmother for little Tamara. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. No. Always. <laughs> <laughs> okay, father. No, no, no. I didn't. I didn't no, I just said okay. All right, we'll be there. Yeah, sure. Bye. Hello. <sighs> My father wants to see us. I hope there's no problem. I don't know. The way you were sounding, I think there might be a problem. Really? Yeah. Okay, let me change it to something. Uh, no, 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 I think you're, you're, you're okay like this. Let's go. I, he really wants to see us right now. Father. I can't believe both of you deceived me. You have been my goddaughter ever before you were born. How could you lie to me? I didn't lie to you, sir. You think I do not have information that you agreed to marry Kenneth because he promised to pay you 10 million naira? That's, <clears throat> and that's not true, father. That, that is absolutely... You're still lying to me. She agreed to marry you because that will guarantee you getting the company. I've changed my mind. Y yes, it's, it's true. Kenneth married me so you could give him the company but we we fell in love we we love each other that's a lie benita what are you doing here benita is here because she came to see me to expose both of you thank you i appreciate you benita father you cannot trust this woman she's not to be trusted she's a backstabber that means what Benita told me is true, if she's a backstabber. Yes, it's true, but Kenny and I fell in love. We fell in love even before the wedding. We married for true love. We truly love each other. Yes. You want me to believe it? Yes, sir. It's true. Then prove it. Move into this house. Let me see things for myself. But, 
Chief, that is, that is not what we discussed. Please, Benita. Let me take care of this between myself, my daughter-in-law, and my son. Father, my wife and I, we have nothing to hide. We're totally transparent, okay? We'll move in. Okay. And Benita moves into this house to monitor and report you to me. And she stays in the guest room. And my decision on this is final. I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe Benita would do a thing like this. Oh God, I trusted her. Well, you trusted a devil, a she-devil. I should have just kept my mouth shut. Don't blame yourself, okay? All we have to do now is act like a couple, you know, a couple that's in love. But for how long? So my father gives me the company. What if it takes him a year, two years, or even three years to hand it over? I don't know. I'll pay you. I'll pay you extra. Okay, I'll pay you extra to stay longer. Can I? This is this is not about the money. I have my own life to live. This is unexpected. Mm. Oh, I didn't plan for this. I didn't plan for this as well. Don't blame me. I'm not blaming you. And I met a guy yesterday. I'm supposed to have dinner with him tomorrow. Cancel it. I can't believe Benita is in this house after all she did. God. You know, she's your friend. You should know what she's capable of doing. She could be everything. But this one, I didn't see it coming, I swear. Me too. Fake love, fake human being, in a fake marriage, and I see you cooked for your fake husband. Point of correction, my husband, not fake. You and I know that you're lying. You can't deceive Chief Madoka for long, unless you want to remain Kenneth's wife. What has come over you, Benny? Like, why have you chosen to hurt me? I want you to know how it feels. Meaning, you're selfish. You deprived me of what I wanted. And what exactly did I deprive you of? You deprived me of having Kenneth to myself. But I was, I was only trying to protect you. I don't need your protection. I'm an adult. I can handle any situation by myself. Is that like Kenneth wanted you in the first place or asked you out? He made that decision never to date any of my friends. You pushed him to make that decision because you know he would have fallen for me had he been had gotten involved with me. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, that's so funny. And I know that's not true. It's the truth. But you can continue with your fake marriage. I assure you, it is not going to last. You'll see. And I loved you like a sister. I don't believe you're doing this. Like, why? What pushed you to this? I'm so disappointed in you. Oh, please. Keep your disappointment to yourself. So cute. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. You like? I love. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let me feel you. Mm. There you go. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You know what? I have to return the favor. Okay. 
My there turn. Hmm. Thank you. Come here. Mm. <laughs> mm. Hey, you make him go back thirty years ago. Your mother. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Why don't we make a toast? Okay. To forever. Mm. Babe, come here. Mm. <laughs> Watch him. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Nice wine as well. Yeah. Almost a perfect family dinner, you know? Yeah. Because we're all family. Well, most of us. Family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Benita, you are nothing but a useless girl. In fact, you are shameless. Yes, what your mother said about you is nothing but the truth. You are a bitch and a prostitute. Yes, that's what you are. Hello? Hello? Uh, babe, can you imagine this useless girl just hung up on me? Uh, you, what were you expecting her to do? I heard all the insults you were raining on her. You need to take it easy on yourself, babe. I mean, consider your condition. Babe, I don't have a condition. I'm only pregnant. And I won't take it easy on her. <sighs> Babe, <clears throat> listen, there's nothing you can do about it. Just let Benita be. So are you saying what Benita is doing to Oge is right? That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is Kenya and Oge would sort themselves out. Babe, you know what, yeah? That Benita girl is nothing but a backstabber. If I were to be Oge, I would have sent her out of that house. I don't want to know whether Chief asked her to stay or not. <sighs> ah, babe. You're even reacting more than Oge. Yeah, Oge is my friend and I'll always defend her. Ah, Madam Defender. I'm not saying you shouldn't defend your friend. Do you know how long Oge and Kenya will be in the house? I don't know and she doesn't know too. I wasn't expecting this and they didn't plan this. Benita just wants to ruin things for them. Babe, you should just avoid Benita. <laughs> is it possible for an aunt to avoid honey? Oh. Please, how can you compare human being to an aunt, babe? Come on. <laughs> babe, that's exactly what she is. She's nothing but an aunt. <laughs> and the only thing I want to do right now is just to stamp my feet on her. <laughs> I can see how angry you are. I mean, it's written all over you. Guys, Coyote and I have decided to name our baby girl Isabella. Oh, I like that. That's I like nice. That. Yeah. yeah, I like Isabella. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank very you. Much. Oh, yeah. Thank you. What are we celebrating? Marisa. Congratulations. What are you doing here? I'm happy I met the four of you here. One big happy family. I guess it's the right time for me to talk. I am here to warn you. You have been insulting me and supporting Oge's fake marriage. I'm here to warn you to focus on yours. I was only defending my friend. Listen to me, Benita. I think you need to turn around and leave here. I am not going anywhere. Benita, what is wrong with you? Please, we don't need a betrayer in our midst. Just go! You think I'm the only betrayer here? Oh, I see you think you're married to the best man in the world. 
Ha <laughs> ha. Well, the joke is on you. Coyote has been cheating on you. I've met him not once, not twice, with different girls. I can't even remember how many times I've seen him. That's a lie. Coyote, tell her the truth. Babe. She's lying, right? She's lying. Benita is just trying to destroy our relationship. You know that. Benita, what You're lying. You? Why are you doing this? What do you stand to gain? Why? Babe, listen. Benita, Benita, this is, this, she's lying. Benita is just trying to destroy us. You know that. She's lying. Coyote, can you just tell her the truth? Stop lying to her. Babe, I'm sorry. It happened just once. Right? It happened just once. Yes, what? it happened. Yes, it did happen, but it happened just once. So she's saying the truth. I'm sorry. Listen, oh God. listen, babe. Let's talk about this outside. Look, I'm thinking Kenne is the one influencing you. Meanwhile, you're worse than Kenne. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. It won't happen again. We can take this. We can sort this out. I'm really sorry. Tomorrow, please don't let the devil ruin your home, okay? <laughs> Benita is obviously the devil. I am not a devil. At least you can stop running her mouth. Parrot. Oh my God! Can please, you please, can you please, just please, stop? Please, please, can you, are you happy now? Are you happy with what you're doing right now? Are you please, happy? Yes, I am happy. Outside? And both I'm of sorry. you, you're going to regret this fake marriage. Believe that. Really? <laughs> Go ahead with your no, little excuse party. Me. You, you cheated on me. Let me explain. You explain what? What do you want to? What do you want to explain? You cheated on me. Why will you do? Let's me. Go. Why? No, no, I'm sorry. Go, go back to which home? You lied to me! And I trusted you! Oh, you listen, listen to me. I am sorry. It happened. I just... could you have done this to me? Baby, please. It's not for anything because of the baby you're carrying the What did I do to this? I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm what? sorry, baby. Baby, Get please. Please. Me. You need to listen to me. You need to listen to me. <laughs> the leader wants to destroy us. You have no excuse. You have no excuse. Why did you humiliate me? I'm sorry. Why? I am sorry, baby. <laughs> don't talk. Don't talk to me. Don't see. Don't come close. Baby, listen to me. Baby, listen. You don't have to live without me. I love woman? you so much. Who is she? I, I don't even know who she is. I, I, do you love her? No. So why did you cheat on me? Baby, listen. I can't love anyone. I'm just sorry. It's just you. I love you so much. I will do anything to be with you. I don't want to hurt you, baby. I have always loved you. I know this. You know this. You know me. I have always loved you, baby. I'll do anything to keep you. I'm sorry, baby. Baby, come back here. Don't come close. You disgust me. I don't want you to hurt yourself. You carry me. You carry my baby. You carry my baby. You carry my child. And the only reason I'm here is because of our child. Listen, That's the only reason I followed you back. I know you and that's me. the only reason why I am here. I know you love me. You look, at me. look at me. Get look at me. Look at me. Out of my sight. Slow. So look, <gasps> look at me. Everything you want to share, you want to dump it like that because of Benita? Benita wants to destroy my baby. No! Baby, I'm so. Do not. You touch me. I'm going to slap you. Do not touch me. Please don't do this. You're hurting me, baby. Uh, uh, baby, don't do it. Look what you're doing to yourself. Oh, oh, listen, listen, listen. Uh, babe, you know I love the way Tamara loves Coyote. I love their love. Oh, it's the cutest. I know, right? Like nothing, nothing can stop them. I know, I know. So you love me the way he loves her. I love you more than he. Loves Are you her. sure? He loves her a lot, mm. but I love you much more. Mm. Oh, no, let me open the door for you. Oh, thank you. I have to. <laughs> for my queen. Thanks, babe. All right. Okay, so do you think this will work? It's going to work. Okay. Like he's awake, I'm sure he's awake, and uh, if we do it loud enough, he'll hear us. So, okay, okay. all right, I'm nervous. Uh, don't be, don't be okay. <laughs> Just close your eyes, okay? Take a deep breath, <laughs> yeah, okay, here, yeah. okay, let's um, go. So but we actually have to be in the position to project it as. Realistically, okay, so as possible. Do I? Yes. Yes. Just you could you could lie. 
Okay, there. What? Oh, okay. Okay. I'm lying down. All right. Okay, so you come up. Yeah. Can I? Yeah, what? Are you sure? God. All right. Okay, so. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, okay. we have to make it sound real. Okay? Okay. So, Chief, I, in case you want me to do anything for you, I'm, I'm available for you. Okay. Yes. I've heard you. I'll think about it. Okay. Oh. Wait, um, can I wait? Uh, what? Uh, what? Okay, okay. I'm ready. I'm Come ready. On, I'm I ready think now. Ready. I'm, oh, I'm ready okay. Now. All right. Don't be nervous. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. All right. All right. Do you know what? What? Let's change positions. Yeah. Okay. So, so what do I? What do we do now? No, I want you to. What you just did? What? What you just did? What, what did I do? Like. Yes. Can I? Okay. <laughs> Let's go. What, what, what are you no, I, think, I think I prefer the other one. No, 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 no. This is the best projection. All right, all right, all right. That's fine. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Let's go. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh. What's that? Oh, babe. Oh. What's that noise? Oh. Oh, my. Oh. Oh. Oh, babe. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh. 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 Oh, oh can I? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Ah. Yeah. Start not can I and okay. <laughs> Come on. Yes. Come on. Come on. They're the one. Oh my God. Oh. oh <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. Very good. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very good boy. Commit to it. Commit to it. Commit to it. No. He should hear you more than he hears me. Yeah, so he makes me. Oh, God. Yeah. You and Kenne can deceive Chief Madoka, but certainly not me. Meaning? You think I don't know that all this lovey-dovey you both are displaying are all shams? You both are liars. I am going to prove it. You can't prove nothing, Benny, okay? Just give up already. Why are you so desperate? Look, desperation leads to failure. I assure you, you will fail. I won't fail. Because Chief and I are traveling to Dubai to cool off on all the stress. So you see, my dream of living the baby girl life is beginning to come true. And I can't wait to shop with my favorite designers like Gucci, Prada, and all that. <laughs> but you can't relate. Perfect opportunity to make him mine. And when I become Mr. Madoka, I assure you, Kenne will lay hands on half of that company. Wait, did I just say Mr. Madoka? <laughs> I love the sound of that already. <laughs> Why didn't you give her a dirty slap when she made such statements? But well, that would make things more worse. Are you sure you heard that though? Clearly. I heard her. And she was damn serious. Very serious. Wait. Is it possible your father might actually want to have something to do with her, like marry her? Well, uh, my father has actually never said anything about her marrying, you know? I've known my father to be like a very principled man. I don't, I couldn't tell you if he would be vulnerable to our advances though. I couldn't, I couldn't say that. I'm not sure. I don't know. 
She's quite desperate, like really desperate. She's ready to do anything to get your father to marry her or date her or anything, sleep with her even. That might make him change his mind about giving you the company. That's if she gets pregnant and has a child for her. Anything is possible. She's desperate. Um, I think I have a solution for your father to give you the company without hesitation. What's the well, solution? Get pregnant for Kenny. What? what? <laughs> ah. No. <laughs> That's the only way your father would believe that you both married for love and not for the money or the company he promised you. Uh, oh, no, I can't. I can't. I can't have sex. Now. I can't have anything. To, what? It's. I can't do anything. Can I? Can't have sex with you. Come on. No, 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 no. I'm trying to say like it might be a brilliant idea. It is a brilliant idea. Okay. And it's not about having sex. I mean, I could pay a doctor to forge the results. So when my dad gets back, I show him. You know, that we're pregnant. Oh no, that would not work without Jezebel there. You know, not like I want you to have sex with my friend or something but then again i don't want benita to win think about it there's nothing to think about i can't no yeah i'm no. afraid i'm with her on this you know i don't see myself sleeping with okay no offense but you're my bro you know okay except you guys have another solution to this but yeah i can't think of any other thing no we'll think of something we'll think of something, something better please okay fine yeah. tamara your fate is in your hands yes. well, You kept me waiting. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Okay, it was traffic. Traffic was crazy. I mean, I expected it to be bad, but it was crazy. Why are you drinking water? Because I was waiting for you to get here before I order. <sighs> That's so sweet. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Don't keep me waiting this long. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. You're kind of cute when you sulk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't start. Please. I'm serious. I'm serious. For you. I didn't order for this. The maid customer bought this for you, man. Really? Yes, ma'am. Oh. Wow. Oh. Are you going to take that? Of course, it's free. You'd share with me. Tell him I said thank you. Thank you very much, man. Hey, take that back. Why? I said take that back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What is wrong with you? What do you mean what's wrong? You've got to share with me. I don't want to drink. I don't want to drink. What is wrong with you? What are you doing? Huh? I should be the one asking you what is wrong with you, Kenny. What's wrong? Some random guy buys you a drink and nothing. It's cool. It's what? okay. What's wrong with that? You're my wife, you should act like that. Your okay. father is not here. It doesn't matter if he's here or not. It doesn't matter. Gosh. Wait, you're not even wearing your wedding ring. Can I, can I see your hand? Can I see your hand? Please. Let me see your left. You're not wearing your wedding ring. Okay. 
You're not wearing... Oh, come on. What's going on with you? You were the one that said we could do anything we want to do, as long as we're careful. Do you know what? If you want, if it's if it's the boss hole that you want, I'll buy you two, okay? I'm your husband. I need to be responsible for your needs, okay? We're a couple. I mean, you should act like it. Okay. God. So what about the lady you were chatting with the other day? What about her? We were supposed to go on a date we had today. So I'm surprised you called me from the office to have a lunch date with you. Yeah, we're supposed to go out with her today, but it's not happening. Again, I decided against it, so. Why? Must I have a reason? Yes, because you are Kene Madoka. I have never seen you say no to a woman you want. Well, I've said no to that particular girl, so yeah. Hmm. So is there a particular girl you want? Hmm? Mm. Is there a... Oh, no. I will order now. Mm. Hey. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. What's up? How's it going? It's been yeah. a minute. Yeah, you know, I've been busy, you know, working and uh, my father traveled as well. So, yeah, it's oh. been hectic. Tamara told me. Yeah. I mean, come, why don't we call some girls around? You'll get some fresh people in town. You haven't changed. You haven't changed at all. <laughs> I have. Tamara, Tamara actually knows that I'm here. Yeah, well, you know, I haven't actually been doing much of that lately. You know, I just I have a lot of important stuff on my mind. Mm, I have a lot of important stuff on my mind as well. But I mean, it won't it hurt if we if I just call some, so you just come hang out with us. How about that? Nah, nah, I have a wife at home. I mean, um, no, 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 I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it like that. Uh, actually, uh, I have a meeting early in the morning tomorrow. You know, I have to wake up early for that. So come on, bro. Okay, okay. Have some little drink. No, no, I'm good. You sure? Yeah, I'm good. I probably have juice or something. No, 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 Where's no. the waiter? Have this one. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I want liquor. Uh, it's gonna come out. Where are you going, sir? I have a dinner party. Just, that is a really, really short outfit. I know, bro. I like it. Why didn't you tell me about the party? I didn't think it was necessary. Besides, you don't tell me where you go to. Yeah, but it's just the two of us in the house. I need to know your whereabouts. Okay, don't worry. Next time I'll tell you where I'm going to. But for now, I have to. Whoa, whoa. Not so fast, okay? Who invited you for this dinner? Really? Yes. Who invited you? My client, a client of mine, I just finished the interiors in his new hotel. You're going to a hotel? Yeah. And you're not even wearing your wedding ring? What's going on? It's not necessary. I didn't see the reason to wait. Besides, your father is out of town. What do you mean? He, he could come back anytime. But certainly not tonight. Yeah, but it, it, you could meet someone that he knows or, you know? Oh my God, can I look? See, I promise I'll be careful. I won't do anything stupid. Nobody will see anything, huh? I have a dinner to do. Can I? Hold on. Hold on. <sighs> Are you even wearing your necklace? The one I got you. The one you wear all the time. You're not wearing it, right? You're not wearing your necklace and you're not wearing your wedding okay, ring. Okay, What's that okay. about? You need, to, you need to tell me something. Can I? That's something you're not telling me. If I wear the necklace and the ring, would you let me go? At least wear your wedding ring. Okay, I'll wait, woman. please. And the I'm necklace, okay? Late. Oh my God, can I don't start? Listen, should I go with you? No. Hey, wait, hold on. I think I should go with you, okay? Just for, you know, just to be safe. You're still up? I thought you'd be in bed by now. I called you like a million times and you didn't pick up. Oh my God, you did? Yes. I had no idea. My phone has been on a silent mode, I'm sorry. Wait, why was your phone on silent? Can huh? I? You called me 11 times? Yes. Really? Yes, I did. Okay, I was worried. I mean, it's not safe out there. We have to be careful. I know, I'm sorry. I had no idea you were calling. 
I'm tired. I want to go. So wait, how was it? That was the thing you went for. It was good. I had a good time. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You met someone? You mean if I met a guy? Mm-hmm. Yes, I did, but I had to act married because of my selfish friend, you. What's that supposed to mean? Because you refused to let me be a single girl just for one day. But you, it's okay for you to act like a bachelor, chat and flirt with other girls. I don't do that anymore, okay? I don't act like a bachelor to anyone. <clears throat> you can have my phone, okay? I'm not talking to any girl. I don't can, talk to any can girl. Can I you? <laughs> I don't yeah, believe you. I'm I not. don't. Okay, so why did you stop? I just don't want to blow our cover. Okay, as a couple, you know, we're supposed mm. to be together, you know. It's just a matter of time. Just give me time, okay? I need your patience. Okay, I'll give you time. I'll be patient with you. So can I go sleep now? I'm tired, please. You sleep? Oh, so soon? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Are you coming? Uh, yeah, well, I'll, I'll be in. Not now. Okay, good night. All right, good night. Something's wrong and I can't explain Something's just not the same On the voice of the wind I even hear your name Memories flowing through my brain I think I'm going insane Through the whispering winds I swear I hear your name Cause I want to be with you I want to be with you Every morning and evening too Is what I wanna do Hello, Kenne. When did you get back with my father? Two hours ago. Where's my father? Your father is at home resting, but I decided to come and see you. I don't want to see you. Your father deserves loyalty. It's a shame you and Ogie deceived him. So? I can make your father take away the company from you completely. If I eventually become Mrs. Madoka, you're going to need my help. What kind of help? I can convince your father to hand over the company to you. I can convince him that you and Oge are genuine. A person like you wouldn't do a favor for free. What do you want in return? Before you fake married, okay? Did she tell you that I wanted you to myself completely? She didn't have to tell me. I knew it myself. I didn't ask you out because you weren't my type. 
How dare you? No, how dare you? Let me enlighten you, okay? It's not like I don't have enough resources to start off my own company. I do. But this is my father's legacy. I have to be in control to guard it, to protect it, okay? I'm not in it for greedy reasons like you. Now get out of my office. I swear to you, Kenny. You're going to regret this. I'm not going to regret nothing, okay? Leave. <sighs> What did you say? Benita stays. Oh my God. Yeah, he doesn't believe us. What did you tell him? I told him that we're in love, you know, that we're madly in love and uh, I miss you when I'm not with you and all that. You know, he just, he didn't believe me. Should have said something else or done something else just to convince him. My father is hard headed and he's old enough to know what he wants, you know, I don't know. Should have told him Benita came to the office to threaten you. That wouldn't have made any difference, okay? I don't want to talk about Benita anymore. Honestly, I don't. That's, that's not what's bothering me. So what's bothering you? Nothing. Look, Kenny, I'm concerned about your welfare. I know how much you want this company, okay? So what else could be bothering you apart from that? Nothing serious. You know, don't worry about me, okay? I'll be fine. Honestly, um, Tamara, I don't I don't like the way I feel around Kenny. How do you feel around him? I can't explain it. I don't know. Um, do you feel happy when you're around him? I've always felt happy around him. So what changed? I don't know. I think, I think I'm beginning to care so much about him. Okay. I warned you. I told you that you're going to fall in love with Kenne. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I, I don't know. I can't even tell him how I feel. I don't know if he feels the same way. And can I know he's so proud, even if he feels anything, he'd rather die in silence than say anything. The Kenya that I know will never feel anything for you, not even for any woman. God, what do I do? I can't even, I can't, I can't even face Kenya can telling him this. I feel so stupid. What do you think I should do? Um, my advice would be that you control your heart. Hmm. I think I know what to do. I'll do what's best for me. Good morning, Benny. There is nothing good about the morning with you still living here. Look, I've decided to leave. What did you say? I mean, it's, it's the right thing to do. I'll go. Even though it means losing the man I love. I'll leave. I know that look. Are you ready to fight for him? It doesn't matter. At this point, does that really matter? For all I care, it's just one-sided. You can have Kenny. 
since you want him so bad. Now you're talking. Mom. Anita, what are you doing here? Mom, what happened? Why didn't you tell me? What is wrong with you? You should have told me. I should have been there at the hospital with you. Eh? How are you? Good morning. How are you feeling? Hope you're okay. I'm getting better. I'm so sorry. Thank you for coming. It's nothing. I appreciate everything you've been doing for me. And thank you for the money you've been sending to me. It's nothing. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Yeah. What, what money are the both of you talking about? I, I usually send money to your mom after you guys had that disagreement. <sighs> but I was just doing it on your behalf. You didn't know. No, no mom. <sighs> What's the problem? I have to go now, mom. <sighs> I know you're very, very angry with Benita. <sighs> But please, find a place in your heart and forgive her. She's yeah. still your daughter. Please take very good mm. care of yourself. I will, my daughter. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Anita. Okay, it's more than a friend to you. And we have to listen to her. I have to listen to her. I forgive you. I forgive you, my daughter. I forgive you. Mom. I've offended Oge. What did you do? Mom, I broke her trust. How could I do this to her? How could I choose this loyalty over a friendship of many years? I don't know what happened between the two of you in the past. But I believe you know the right thing to do. So do the right thing, please. Mom. I messed up things for Ogi and Kenne. Mm. I should have supported them. But I stood against them. I went behind their back and messed things up. Mm. I'm so angry at myself. You don't have to be mad at yourself. The most important thing is that you have realized your mistakes. That is the most important thing. Okay? <sighs> Something's wrong and I can't explain Something's just not the same On the voice of the wind I even hear your name Memories flowing through Good day, Father. Good afternoon, sir. Well, Father, um, I wanted to talk to you about something. More yes. I don't want the CEO position anymore. I like to focus on my marriage with OK. You can give it to Mr. Charles or whoever you deem fit. What are you saying? You care so much about this company, Kenny. I do care about the company, but I care about you much more. Yes. 
before I go to sleep and when I wake up, it's your face I want to see. I want to grow old with you. I haven't said this to anyone, but I love you, okay? I love you so much. Okay, Chukwarinza, you, you mean the world to me. Is this another outpouring of fake emotions? Now that I have everyone's attention, Chief, I want to apologize to you for making advances at you in Dubai. That was so wrong of me. I shouldn't have done that. I am sorry. And okay, I am sorry for everything. I have learned from my mistakes. I shouldn't have gone behind you to review everything. All I wanted was to have a man that would love me. But I was desperate and I chose the wrong way. Kene, Oge, please find it in your heart to forgive me. And Kene, you need to know something. Ogi loves you so much. And I'll be very happy to see that both of you makes this work. I forgive you. Thank you. And I still love you like a sister, no matter what. I love you too. Why didn't you tell me that you love me? I, I was scared you might turn me down. What? never turn you down. It's never going to happen. I love you, Kenny. I have fallen in love with you. I guess I want to grow old with you. I want to be the mother of your kids. And I want to be your wife, for real. <laughs> I love you so much. Something's wrong and I can't explain Something's just not the same I'm the voice of the wind I even hear your name Memories flowing through my brain I think I'm going insane Through the whispering winds I swear I hear your name Cause I want to be with you I want to be with you Every morning and evening too Is what I wanna do I 
Every morning and evening